starting something new that is really a, a massive revolution is difficult. Uh, there's a good book called Zero to One by Peter Thiel. I haven't finished it, to, if I'm honest with you, but at the beginning of the book, uh, he has some really interesting comments where he talks about how difficult it is to go from zero to one. When you do something for the first time, you, there's, you know, it's scary, there's a lot of challenges. Um, it requires an enormous amount of energy to go from zero to one. Zero to one is like, you know, this concept of the Big Bang, right? We started with nothing and then we created this Big Bang. That's a zero to one moment. Um, you know, as stars and galaxies form, that's, it's not a zero to one moment for them. It, that's further on down the chain. Uh, zero to one is, is something that, that, that concept, you, you know, is applied to other things in life. So, you know, if you, if you, when we developed the internet, that was a zero to one. That was huge. That was massive. And that, that allowed us to do a lot of great things. That was a zero to one transformation. But getting the latest version of your iPhone isn't a zero to one transition. The first um, telephone was, but you know, the latest gen generation of your favorite smartphone is not. It's just a, um, an evolution of an incredible te technological advancement. But change, you know, if you want to do something massive in the world or something massive from your point of view in your world, you, you are essentially going from a zero point to a one point. Going from zero to one requires a massive amount of energy um, in terms of effort. It might also come in, in forms of like frustration or anger um, or just a deep desire for something. If you have a lot of passion for something that nobody's ever done before, you are going from a zero to one point. And you're basically on your own. I mean, you're, you're launching a rocket ship and you don't know the destination, or you know the destination, but you don't know how you're gonna get there. Nobody's ever done this before. That's a zero to one transformation. That's an incredible, <clears throat> I think, a feat that a lot of entrepreneurs, like when they start up businesses, especially in new areas that we haven't seen before, that's a, a zero to one transformation. Uh, pretty interesting. Now we can also, we also have beyond that, you know, go, going from zero to one to two to four, if we're doubling, you know, in a, in a binary format, we can, it gets easier. It gets easier once the internet's developed to, to build the web browser. And once you have the first web browser, you come out with the second version or another web browser that we can improve on uh, previous advancements. But that initial spark to do something, that spark that's required, that requires a lot of work. You know, if you've ever tried to like light a fire by you know pounding things together using the the flint things or like rubbing the sticks and trying to get something together that's that's an incredible incredible amount of energy required to, to create a spark or a glow um that could kick something off in sorts of fire so i've always been in, it really intrigued by that um the zero to one that, that binary choice in life is 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 everywhere zero to one is you know it's is present in computers we have, it's the concept of true and false. It's also, you know, good and evil or good and bad. Um, so I just, I just, I, I love that. I think if you look at your entrepreneurial venture, your personal goals, um, you're going to find some zero to one stories in there, at least from your perspective. And those are, you, those are incredible. So you should be proud of those. The zero to one stuff requires a lot of energy.